G'day guys, welcome to another video. So essentially, in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going through the tabbing process that I'm gonna be using in this project. So, essentially the tabbing process is what I'm gonna be using to lock all of my structure together. My lateral bulkheads, my longitudinal bulkheads, my stringers, any of the structural pieces whatsoever are gonna be locked into place using tabbing. So, the tabbing, as you can see there, in that particular detail, that drawing, it's two layers of 600 gram double bias separated by 225 gram chop strand mat. So what I've done is I've laid down, well I've cleaned up the hull and everything, all of the area that I'm gonna be working in, I've cleaned it all up. I've made sure that there's no lumps and bumps or dags or anything that can hold the resin or the glass up. I've gotten rid of it all, I've dusted it off, I've given it a vacuum, a very thorough vacuum, and I've wiped it all down with acetone. And then what I've done is I've laid down a layer of resin. And that layer of resin is just to make sure that I can saturate the glass and get the resin right through the glass on every side, or both sides. So the first layer of glass that I'm putting down is 225 gram chop strand mat. So I put that down over the resin and then I'm wetting it out again. And then I'll roll it out, make sure there's no air bubbles or anything else in it. And then after I've done that, I lay my first piece of 600 gram double bites and then I repeat it all again. So one of the very important things that I'm doing here as you can see is I'm pushing that roller right into that joint to make sure that I get all of the air out that could be trapped within that joint making sure that you know there's no chance of any air bubbles or anything else staying there and then I basically roll it up and out and just make sure that I get rid of get rid of it. Overall, technically, it's not a very complicated process. Probably the worst thing that I've got to compete with here is the boat itself. It's a pretty tight spot. I've got my vapor mask on, and that's why I'm doing this voiceover, is because, you know, uh, I tried to do some recordings with the vapor mask on, as it comes up all muffled, just like that. So, this piece that I'm putting down now is the first layer of the double bias, 600 gram double bias, nice and shiny, isn't it? Pretty looking stuff. I've got, to, I've got to say though, double bias is probably one of my least favourite pieces of glass or, or, or mat because it just, it's horrible to work with. Trying to get it around corners and everything else can be a real problem. You've got to colour it all up, make sure that you've got it perfect and when you lay it down, you've got to make sure that where you lay it is where it's going to stay because if you try and pull it up, all the stitching comes undone and it gets, becomes a huge mess. And I've been there a few times, so I've had some problems with it, but what I try to do is make sure that I do get the stitched, the, the stuff that's already got the chop strand mat stitched into it, just makes it so much easier. So I'm wetting it all out, getting it all ready, and I've just got to repeat this a couple of times, guys. And like I said before, it's not a very complicated process. You just, just got to bear with it and get it done, get it right. One of the critically important parts of my project here is making sure that I roll out this glass properly. And what I'm doing here is I'm using a bristle roller and I'm making sure that I get that bristle roller into those corners like I was playing before and I'm working it to make sure that I push any air out. I get it into the corner and then I push upwards or outwards to, to force that air to the outside. Get rid of it, get rid of it completely because we just don't want it in there. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the system that I'm gonna be using to lock all of my structure in together. So to lock my longitudinal structure, my lateral structure, my stringers, any of the bulkheads, any structural element whatsoever. That's how it's all getting locked in. That's the process that I'm using. So that's it for this video. Very quick 